Hi girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about alternate versions of books I would read, part three. So before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know, sorry I missed last week. It's because I was on vacation with family members. And also, spoiler alert for any of you guys who haven't read any of these books, in case I talk about the original, what happened in the original ending, and what I think could also happen if things will if things were alternately, you know, changed and stuff like that. So anyway, on to the first book. The first book, alternate version of a book I would read, in Archer's voice, what if Victoria raised Archer instead of his uncle Nathan? So what originally happened is that when Archer lost his voice and went to the hospital, his uncle Nathan raised Archer for most of his life. And Victoria just hated Archer through the rest of the whole book and think that Archer was going to tattletale to the police on what actually happened. But what if Victoria had some sort of, I don't know, heart in a sense? Like she would think that, oh, maybe Archer won't know what happened and maybe maybe he could tell the police some things, just not everything. What if what if she did raise Archer? I feel like if she did raise Archer and have a little bit of some heart, Archer would probably get his voice back for sure. And I don't know. Maybe he won't be able to interact with Bree in a way. I don't know. He won't be so isolated. I'm sure Travis and Archer will have some bitter rivalry and other stuff. Also, I before I forget, I forgot to mention in my... um book characters I would punch in the face video, I mistakenly mentioned that Travis and Archer were step-siblings. They're actually not step-siblings. They're actually half-brothers. So that's my mistake for mentioning that. So I think, I don't know, things would go pretty differently if Victoria had some sort of heart and raised Archer herself. Maybe she'd I don't know. If she raised him, maybe he could turn into some sort of jerk or whatever. I don't know. Because Victoria is a jerk, in a sense. So, anyway, on to the next book. The next alternate version of a book I would read is in Verity. What if Lowen and, um, what if Lowen and Jeremy sent Verity to a mental hospital instead of, you know, killing her? the way she did to the, the same thing she did to her to her daughters. I feel like that's what should have happened. I feel like Verity, I feel like sending her to a mental hospital is like a fate worse than death because she deserves to at least atone for her actions because for what she did was, was unforgivable. But if she did go to a mental hospital, maybe that could explain things. And there's, uh, there is evidence the manuscript is evidence on what happened. And also the letter she dug up, she um, buried in the floorboard. That's also evidence. And if Verity confessed to what happened to the police, maybe, yeah, that's, that's lots of evidence for her to just go to the mental hospital and say that she's mentally insane. So I feel like that's what should have happened instead of just, you know, her being killed off and stuff. So that's what I think should have happened in an alternate version of book alternate version of a book I would totally read. So anyway, on to the next book. The other alternate version of a book I would read is in Bully. What if Jared told Tate what happened to him over the summer? I feel like another thing that should have happened, I feel like if Jared could have explained to Tate, hey, my summer was terrible, my dad was very abusive, and I also have a half-brother blah 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 and stuff like that. I feel like Tate would totally understand and if Jared went to the police or something like that or if Jared spent a few weeks in Tate's house, I feel like Jared would feel a lot more comfort telling Tate everything and ha spending the night at her house and feeling some comfort instead of just bottling everything up and then bullying her for the past few years and feeling a lot of anger and sorrow and a lot of emotions because I feel like he should have told her what happened and maybe he should have gone to therapy instead of just 
you know, seeing his dad once a week for a year. Because that, why would he choose to see his dipshit dad instead of just go to therapy? I know he doesn't like to con talk about his feelings, but I feel like it's better this way to talk about your feelings than to just talk to a person that treated you like shit for for one summer that was totally awful and uncalled for for what he did he also was kind of, he was pretty abusive to his best friend too i feel like he should have apologized for being a jerk towards him and stuff but honestly if things turned out the way i thought they would with jared and tate i'm okay with the book currently that i've read i think it's fine but i feel like Jared should have at least, you know, went to therapy and found more comfort in Tate instead of just him bullying her because that's no, no orderly fashion to treat someone after they just give you kindness and stuff. So anyway, on to the final book for part three. The final alternate version of a book I would read for part three is in Come Back to Me. What if Jessa's brother Riley survived in the war in the military instead of her boyfriend Kit? Because what originally happened is that her brother Riley was killed by like a suicide bomber or whatever from another country in Afghanistan or whatever it was, but her boyfriend survived. So I'm thinking what if her brother Riley survived instead of Kit. I feel like she, I don't know, I feel like she would feel a lot of grief towards, you know, losing her boyfriend. Because either if you lose a boyfriend and you lose your sibling, I feel like losing your sibling hurts. It's It hurts a lot more than losing a boyfriend. Because, yeah, sure, you love them, but... You can always get another one. But hey, 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 if that boyfriend really did love you, then yeah, sure, they're probably not, they're not replaceable. Everybody's different when it comes to dating. But I feel like she would obviously be sad. Jessa would obviously be sad about losing her boyfriend, Kit, if this happened. But Riley, I feel like he would, you know, talk to his dad and ask his dad, why was he being an asshole towards Kit? Because, you know, Kit and Jess's dad were, they weren't, they didn't go off with a good start. They were kind of bitchy towards each other. So I feel like if Riley asked his dad, why were you being a jerk towards my best friend? Because Riley and Kit were best friends. So I feel like if this would have happened, I don't know. It would have been an interesting alternate version of a book to see or read. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!